Please welcome the one, the only, Dwayne Johnson! Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been one of the most beloved figures in Hollywood for many years, first as a wrestler for WWE and later as an actor. His personality draws people in and has helped him gain a massive following. He came from very little to become one of the best paid actors in Hollywood. There weren't family or friends to help him catch a break, and he knew pretty much no one in Hollywood that could have helped him reach stardom. And I think this is one of the reasons why he's so loved. So let's go into Dwayne Johnson's world. This is The Rock, his net worth, his lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. Before we get going, please remember to hit that like button to show us some love, then you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you'll never miss a thing. First up is his net worth. His days of struggling are well and truly behind him. He might not have had a lot in his younger years, but he can afford pretty much anything his heart desires. His estimated net worth in 2021 is around $320 million. So he's definitely not lacking in the funding department. But how did he make all that cash. Wrestling. First, he had a very short-lived football career. He had a college football scholarship and then went for the NFL draft and remained undrafted. Down on his luck and very broke, he fell back on what he knew, wrestling. He came from a family of wrestlers. His father and grandfather had both wrestled professionally, and his grandmother was a wrestling promoter. So it made sense that he would try out for WWF. He debuted in the WWE as Rocky Mavia. While wrestling didn't earn him nearly the amounts that he gets paid today, it was the way that he got into Hollywood and got noticed. He was a beloved character while wrestling for WWE and it got him noticed by Hollywood producers. Quickly, he started receiving parts in movies. These weren't always the biggest parts, but it got him in the door and on his path to stardom. Soon, he was ready to act full-time. Acting. He started acting full-time and has an impressive set of credits to his name. It was soon obvious that he had a wide range. He played serious roles as action heroes. He took on sweet roles in comedies where he was a lovely father. And each time, his name pulled in the crowds and ensured that the movie was a hit. He's one of the highest grossing actors of all time, and this helped him earn bigger and bigger paychecks. It's said that right now he can demand as much as $20 million per movie. Even in his circles, that is a salary that is unbelievable. He's been the highest earning actor on the Forbes list a few times, and as proved any haters wrong who thought that he was just going to be a wrestler who acted in a few movies. He's also had hit TV shows like Ballers that ensure that he's always kept busy. But acting isn't the only way that The Rock earns money. He has a production company too. He also creates and produces different shows and movies through his production company, Seven Bucks Productions, which he owns with his ex-wife, Danny Garcia. The name pays homage to his humble beginnings. After his football career turned out to be a bust, he flew from Canada to Miami to start over. He emptied his pockets, and all he had left was seven bucks. The company creates many of the roles that Johnson stars in, and it gives him the freedom to create projects that he believes in. He also still gets money from endorsement deals. While he doesn't work as an athlete anymore, he's still a major star on social media, so he regularly gets offered endorsement deals. For example, he partnered with the clothing brand Under Armour to create a clothing and sneaker line with them. A clothing brand that focuses on fitness wear is the perfect fit for Dwayne Johnson, who still has a major passion for fitness and working out. He doesn't sleep much. I guess it takes a lot of time to be as busy as The Rock is. There's no time left for sleep. He said that he wakes up each morning around 3.30 a.m. He says he prefers having two hours of quiet in the house to sleeping for two more hours. So he wakes up, has his quiet time, and recharges that way. He claims to only need around three to five hours of sleep each night, so that routine works for him. I don't know about you, but if I was to wake up that early each morning, I would completely lose it. I'm glad it works for him, but I won't be trying it out anytime soon. But then again, that might be why he has $320 million, and I don't. Although Jeff Bezos has come out and said that he does sleep a full eight hours a night, and he's the wealthiest man in the world. So who knows? In any case, how does The Rock spend all that cash? First, he gives back with the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation. He's passionate about helping children, and he's put his money where his mouth is by creating a foundation that's focused on helping them. The Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation helps children who have serious illnesses and disorders. It also helps kids with disabilities in very practical ways to ensure that their day-to-day -day lives improve. The foundation works with these kids to improve their self-esteem and to empower them. Then they've also started implementing programs to help help all children with physical fitness and nutritional knowledge. This way, kids have the knowledge from a young age that can influence their entire lives. He also spends a lot on his own fitness. Having incredible tone and muscles and being incredibly fit is kind of Dwayne Johnson's brand. So it makes a lot of sense that he's willing to spend a lot of money to keep his body in the shape that we all expect to see from him. He has his own gyms in all his homes, and he pushes himself beyond the limits. He regularly shares his own workout routines, and I must tell you, they are intense. But he also hires personal trainers to make sure that he gets an overall workout out and that he doesn't start to get into a rut when it comes to his routines. By mixing things up and keeping things fresh, 
he makes sure that he's always pushing his workouts as far as he can go. He loves dressing up. When all that hard work has paid off, he likes to dress up too. This is a guy that enjoys fashion and a good suit. On the red carpet or at other events, he always dresses really well, putting together colors and fabrics that a lot of people would be scared to go for. But for him, it works. He wears the kinds of suits that would be extremely expensive off the racks. But with his size and proportions, I'm sure he needs to have them custom made too. It can cost a lot, but it pays off and he always looks really good. He has a love of fancy cars. He reportedly has a whole fleet of cars that he's collected over the years, so he can really pick and choose what to drive on any given day. For the premiere of his show Ballers, he showed up in a custom-made Pagani Huayra. Even a regular Pagani costs a pretty penny, so I'm guessing a custom-made Pagani would cost a fortune. And the sad part is that The Rock couldn't even really enjoy driving it, since he felt that he was too large for the car's small frame. That's why he normally prefers massive trucks that can fit him perfectly. Another major way he spends his money is on real estate. He has a lot of homes all over America that he's invested in. All of them are beautiful and all of them are very expensive. He even has a ranch where he can go when he's really stressed out, to relax and reconnect with nature. And when you have as much money as The Rock has, you travel in style. He loves to keep us updated on all the fabulous places he stays when he's working or on holiday. When you work as hard as he does and can afford it, it just makes sense to make sure that your accommodation is top-notch. He also uses a private plane to get to all of his destinations, too. While we aren't sure if he rents or owns this plane, it sure is a nice way for his entire family to travel. He spends money on those he loves. He's gifted people like his stuntman a truck to show his appreciation, and it doesn't seem to be a one-off. He even gave a Rolex to a fellow actor that he hurt accidentally while filming. He gives his parents trucks and cars and has bought each of his parents brand new houses. It seems he enjoys giving back to the people who raised him. It's also pretty obvious that he dotes on his wife and kids and spends a lot of time with them, and a lot of money as well. So while he's a man who likes the finer things in life, he never never forgets those around him. He also spends a lot on his food. To maintain the amount of exercise he does, he needs a lot of fuel, so he has a massive food bill each month. He has days that he needs to up his carb intake and will do this with loads of sushi. He also loves pancakes. He used to eat a lot of cod each year, but he said that he completely cut it from his diet. He's busy and very active, so he needs to eat a lot of food for his body to keep functioning at that rate. So all in all, he eats around 10 pounds of food each day. He also has a love of tattoos. He sees tattoos as a way to express himself, and that shows his pride in his heritage, but they also cost a lot, so they're another way that he spends his millions. But that's okay, because he's set to earn a lot more in the future. While he does spend a lot of money, he also keeps earning way more at the same time. He's set to star in a lot of upcoming films, including becoming Marvel's Black Adam. So I wouldn't worry about him if I were you. He might be gifting people cars and trucks left and right, but he'll be earning millions more very soon. That's all for today. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.